How's it, man? Okay, so I've stopped this here at the top of the swing. This is after you've gone through the draw, right? Um, so you kind of took a back swing, then you dumped the club, and then you extended. I mean, that has got to be our that's got to be our baseline of where we want to get to, isn't it? I mean, that is so different, but so good, so 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 good. So much leverage, so much height. The club face um, left wrist swing plane there is just oh man, that is so good. And I, I really think it suits your setup and your body as well. Um, then from there, we're going to be able to sequence that downswing and maintain our posture so much better. Okay, so that's our baseline. One day, <laughs> we don't know how long it's going to take, but one day we want to just naturally swing the club straight to that position and then obviously fire and sequence the downswing from there. That is just, just a gorgeous position. Okay, so well done for that. Um, obviously, as I said, we're not getting straight there yet, but we can see... When we do, watch this, watch this left leg here. We've almost got to start a bit of a left press going. And again, that's just a byproduct of good positions and good sequencing. So I really, really, really like that. So if we go through it from the beginning again. Okay, so you'll see, not, not quite how I wanted you to do the draw. You can almost go to your old backswing first and then dump the club and then extend, but it doesn't matter too much. It's just that beautiful position. And you can see the hips are starting to work better already. Okay, so really good signs already, mate, well done. Okay, so let's look at the driver swing here. Um, Set up I like. Um, I'm not too concerned about the swing plane just yet, Sammy. Um, but the takeaway doesn't uh, doesn't help us that much, but I'll explain in a second. But it's looking better already, dude. So, okay, so we're going to work a little bit on this this week. So that takeaway is a little bit inside, okay, and a little bit flat. Now, obviously, that is going to promote, um, you know, the arm swing to go flatter, right? But what we're going to work on, we're going to work more on that shoulder plane. So look at that yellow line. Okay, so that shoulder plane... Okay, I didn't just make that up. That's set 90 degrees to your spine angle. So that's what makes it correct, okay? So if we look here, obviously, as I said, take away a little bit flat and inside, okay? We are getting a lot more elevation in those arms. Okay, we're almost up to head height. All right, so that's really good. But look how flat the shoulder plane is. Okay, so that shoulder plane is a good... 15 to 20 degrees flat now obviously once again flat to the shoulder plane okay the more your arms want to go behind you and also your balance points get lost you can almost see a little reaction in your hips here as you as you reach the top just there okay so that's where we need to have now from that position a little bit more leverage probably a little bit softer in the hands watch the left hip here so if i move this plane line quickly Oh, okay, we'll watch it again. Okay, watch this left hip here in the transition. Okay, so we didn't get to a great impact position, but that left hip is already working. So the sequencing is already working so much better. Look at that. Okay, so that is really awesome. So some good signs already. Hey, Sammy, uh, thanks for the videos, mate. Um, I'm sure you've been through them as well. Uh, and you can see quite a big difference there. Okay, very cool. The, the position you get into when, you, when you're extending there is just so awesome. And you can see how already there's more reaction from that left leg. Um, so, I mean, you're saying you, you hit or felt certain shots that were just completely different. Um, that's what I see is different. That's what causes that. Um, so there's really um, some really really good signs there. Okay, so I think that's going to be the baseline. That's where we're going to want to eventually just swing the club straight there. Okay, so we're going to keep focusing on the back swing. All right, and now sort of maybe a little bit less dramatic. Okay, um, so you can see there, especially in the second video, the the driver one, um, the shoulder plane is a real issue for us. Okay, so it's not even matching our our starting. Uh, forward bend, right? So we've got to learn to try and get that steeper shoulder plane, and that's obviously going to also promote 
the club or the hands to go up rather than around. So when the, when the shoulder plane is flat, then the arms want to go here. When the shoulder plane is steeper, then the arms want to go there. We still have to learn to swing in there, but it's just promoting that, right? So we're going to work really hard on the takeaway. Okay? So the takeaway to start the swing and then the shoulder plane to finish the swing. Okay? So don't think of it too much as what your arms are doing. Don't worry about that. Okay, it's the club. All right, so we don't want the club to go too low and too far around. Okay, once again, we don't want to the shoulder plane to start flat straight away and take the club there, right? Okay, so really try and keep the club on line with the ball and the target. That's what it's going to feel like. So if anything, the club's going to be a little higher, the club head, not so low to the ground. Yeah? And then from there, you finish the swing with the shoulder turn. Okay, and, and we're going to, while we do that, we're going to focus on the plane. What is that shoulder plane? Okay, so take away, keep the club head on the ball and target line for as long as possible. Okay, so normal setup and stuff's looking great, so I'm all happy with that. Okay, so keep that club head on the target lines a little upright. Okay, then you would normally be. Alright, so club head on the ball and target line. Okay, and then finish the back swing with a nice steep shoulder plane. Okay, and that's going to promote that club to go up there. Okay, only little drill I want to do this week, okay, is this a little pivot drill. It's, in some regards, it's similar to the, to the dump and extend drill, okay, but, it's, um, but it's, it's more specific now. We can actually learn to swing the club like this, right? So, for our setup, all good posture, everything. Okay, now when you release the club, don't change your posture, very important, okay? So, in our posture, everything nice and strong. We're going to release the club, put it right along the top of our shoulders, okay? And then we're going to turn the butt of the club, okay? It's going to feel like there, just behind on the golf ball, it's actually going to be about four to six inches outside the golf ball, right? Okay, so, in the posture, don't change anything. Club over the shoulders, okay? Turn the shoulder down, so none of that, okay? Back in the posture, turn, you can see the club's pointing sort of there. Okay, that for me is good. You're a little bit taller, so I think you also need a little bit more there. Okay, so let's go again. Okay, good posture. Turn, hold the pivot there. Don't worry if you don't get the face exactly right. Okay, hold it there, get your grip. Correct. Okay, extend the arms up. Alright, and that's where you want to be. Okay, so it's kind of similar, but now we're working way more on the shoulder plane. Alright, so full setup for the posture. Okay, make sure you don't change that posture. Club over, pivot, get your grip. Okay. And then you're going to hit it from there. Okay, and then obviously again we're going to try and learn that same feel of that position, but mostly I've concentrated on that instead of that. Okay, when you're hitting balls, we're concentrating on takeaway and shoulder plank. No, yes. Okay, if you've got any questions or you have a chat later or anything like that, let me know. Otherwise, there are a couple of sessions um, and then there's either chat or, or send some more videos. Okay.